Ms. Irene Hirano Inoue, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Let me first express my sincere welcome to this first US-Japan Council Annual Conference to be held in Japan. I feel greatly honored to be given the opportunity to speak to you on such occasion. I'd also like, as the outset, to pay tribute to the role that the US-Japan Council has played in strengthening and expanding the US-Japan relations. Needless to say, the United States is the most important political and economic partner to Japan. Our two countries share the fundamental value of freedom, democracy, human rights, the rule of law, and the market economy. And our peoples are bound by strong ties of mutual trust and friendship. The Japan-US alliance play a very important role in securing peace and stability in the entire Asia Pacific region. On the economic front, there is a brisk two-way flow of trade and investment that is flourishing in terms of both scale and quality. We should not, however, take these excellent bilateral relations for granted. Rather than becoming complacent, we need to relentlessly engage in efforts across all areas of society, including politics, economics, and culture, to further strengthen our relationship. Driven by such motivation, Kedan Ren dispatched its largest ever mission to the United States in July of this year. A total of 100 mission members divided in three groups visited 10 states and 14 cities throughout the United States. The mission was not only the largest ever, but also the highest level Kedernay mission to have visited the United States. We think that its timing couldn't have been better, coming soon after Prime Minister Abe's visit to the United States in April, which succeeded in further strengthening the political and diplomatic ties between our two countries. The group I headed visited Washington, D.C., Maryland, Virginia, and South Carolina. In Washington, I gave a speech as the U.S. Chamber of Commerce about the Japanese economy and Japan-U.S. economic relations. We exchanged views with U.S. Trade Representative Michael Foreman and Secretary of Commerce Penny Prisca. In each state, we have interacted with governors, key figures in state government, and business leaders. In the series of talks, we consciously cited figures to demonstrate the contributions Japanese companies making to the U.S. economy. For example, there are currently about 3,000 Japanese companies operating in the United States, directly employing about 900,000 people. The combined direct and the indirect effect of Japanese companies represent 1.7 million jobs and the economic impact amounted to 580 billion dollars. Japanese companies are also making a major contribution to the U.S. export. Looking at export by U.S.-based subsidiaries of foreign corporations, we see that Japanese companies top the list, accounting for 4.4% of all exports of the United States, followed by U.K. companies at 3.4%, German companies at 2.9%, Japanese company 4.4%. So this visit 
to the US left me with a satisfying impression that we have managed to help our American friends understand that Japanese companies are now well integrated into the local communities and are contributing to the country's economic growth and employment as good corporate citizens. This cadre mission will not be a one-off effort. Rather, our work towards strengthening Japan-US relations will be a sustained one. In this respect, we think that top priority should be given to speedy and smooth implementation of TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement. We sincerely welcome its conclusion in Atlanta this early October. The entry into force of TPP will enable Japan and the United States to form a highly integrated economic zone based on shared fundamental values and new rules within the Asia Pacific region that's the center of global economic growth. TPP will provide an uh, infrastructure that will benefit entire economies and societies. It is important not only for the uh, business community, but also for all sectors, including agriculture, which is normally considered to be adversely affected, to take advantage of the opportunities offered by the TPP agreement. Kedan Ren will spare no effort so that TPP will be smoothly implemented. In this regard, we are very pleased to learn that President Obama recently notified his Congress of his intent to sign the TPP agreement. This is a symbolic step towards the implementation of TPP, and we hope the ratification process will proceed steadily from now on. For other TPP member countries, including the United States, the entry into force of TPP means that Japan's market will become a more open, more attractive, and more business-friendly one. Currently, about 1,100 U.S. companies are based here and doing business in our market. But I hope that TPP will prompt more U.S. companies to establish their presence here in Japan. The Abe administration is aiming to make Japan the most business-friendly country in the world. To that end, it is engaged in systematic reform, including those related to the so-called bedrock regulations in labor, healthcare, and the agriculture sectors. Keidan Lane is urging the Japanese government to undertake bold regulatory and systematic reforms to energize the corporate sector and to swiftly cut the corporate tax corporate tax rate to below 30%, currently 33 some percent. But I hope that business people in the United States will take note of how Japan is reforming itself into a more appealing market and actively consider direct investment to Japan. To further enhance the US-Japan relations Keidan has reopened its Washington office on November the 4th after six years closing. Intended to be a hub for Japanese companies operating in the United States, this office aims to build multi-layered networks in the U.S. society and to boost the presence of Japanese co uh, companies in the United States. I hope that will have many opportunities for closer contact and collaboration with the U.S.-Japan Council. 
I'd now like to conclude my speech by expressing my very best wishes for the further development of the U.S.-Japan Council and the success of this annual conference. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Sakura. Thank you very much.